Hi guys, welcome to this session on LibreOffice Calc. What I want to look at in this module is how to create a small budget using LibreOffice Calc. So I've got the Calc sheet open and I'm going to start off by just typing some days of the week at the top. So just type in Monday and then what you can do is you sit your mouse in the bottom right hand corner and you can pull that across and it will automatically fill in the days of the week. Now if I type in total at the end there and if I do some categories for my little budget so car, tax, food, water and something else um, let's go for beer and then total and let's do a couple of averages spell it right and then the max and the min spend and we'll finally do a count of how many items there are in the list so these are the sort of functions I want to do now to populate this normally you would um, just type in the figures that you spent but I'm going to put some random figures in there but before I do that I just want to do a, a title so I'm just going to highlight across the top there and click this option merge and center so that becomes one cell and in there I'm going to put weekly budget that's my title now I want to put some figures in there let's say spend ten pound on Monday use a little black cross on the increments by one now if I say ten there and then five there so increments by five if I highlight them both and then pull the second one it picks up that step value and brings it across now if I type ten again and then if I use my control key and pull it across, it stays at 10. It doesn't increment by one. So the default is to increment by one. And then I'll just do a step value again. Highlight the two, pick on the second one, pull it across and it picks that step up. And one more time, one and then say 11. Highlight the two, pick the second one, pull it across and it picks it up. Now if I want this to be formatted to pounds, I've got a short option there, format to currency, or you can go through there and select it, or you can right click and go into format cells. But I'll just click on currency. So depending on what country you're in, depends what the default is there. Now I want to add these up. Now to add these up, there is a function, which is this one, the sum function, and you've got a little short list there with all the other functions that I want to use but it's not all the functions that are available in this there's lots more but for now I just want to look at these functions so I'm going to do the sum function and it grabs this list this list b3 to b7 is correct so I'm going to click that tick and then when I do the average if I drop that down again and select average it's just jumped up there I don't want that I need to select what I want which is that list there the same list basically tick that and then same process for the others, max, what's the maximum spend, highlight the list, make sure you get the right list, and then min, what's the minimum spend, highlight the list, click the tick, and then count how many items is in that list, so count how many items is in the list, so this is not adding anything up, it's just going to come back and tell you how many there are, five, so then you can highlight this group, pick up the little cross in the corner pull it right over right to the end because I'm going to do these row totals in a second so same thing I just want the totals this time sum uh, you can type that as well uh, that's what I want tick and then I can get the little black cross and double click that down and it'll fill that down now the total there says 360 so if I highlight these figures down the bottom of the screen you've got a sum that says 360 which is a ready reckoner for you and if I highlight this way that also says 360 so we know that's correct now if you want to format this in any way you can format this area so if I want this area to be a particular color let's go for a, a light blue color that's probably too dark but there you go and just to mess this up I'll pick a yellow for that and then these um, I'm just going to leave these like they are and if you want this thing gridded off you've got a grid option there where you can select 
grids because when you print this off it doesn't print these grids and that's basically how you create your little budget sheet now what going forward what you would do is just type into these boxes and this will give you the information so normally you would have the formulas on first so if I just copy this and then uh, paste it down and delete some of the figures so this is how you set this up normally so normally you wouldn't have this space there so if I get rid of that so the formulas div 0 is only there because it's trying to do a, an average and there isn't anything to do an average of and the rest of it's just sitting at zero but as soon as you start putting some figures in so let's say you spend 23 on your car 50 pound tax you didn't get any food water was 12 pound beer you had a good night 55 pound and the um, I didn't copy the total in fact I've colored the total in that was a cock up copy that paste that down so it picks that up yeah so really I shouldn't have colored that that total row at all it doesn't matter you get the idea so you can have uh, you could put the date on there you for each or yeah the date the first day of the week say or the week number whatever you want uh, and then you can just copy this down or you can just do separate sheets and create extra sheets for each week but um, because there's quite a lot of space in these sheets it's probably just um, as good to come down if you're going to do it like this but I'll do some other videos where I can uh, expand on this and make it a bit more um, not complicated but a bit more involved and a bit more ana analysis a few graphs and things like that but that's all I want to talk about in this little session so it's the first little session um, I've done on this LibreOffice calc hope you enjoyed that and thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one